Guess what we're doing today? Oh my gosh, you guys, Memphis is 10 years old. And yes, to those of you wondering, her birthday video and her cake video are coming. But today, today we thought it would be fun to take you all down memory lane and share 10 years of Memphis memories. How many of you have been here since we got Memphis? Let us know down in the comments. Let's start all the way at the beginning. Many of you have probably not seen some of these photos that I'm showing. These were photos that her breeder sent to us before we picked her up. We picked Memphis up on the day she turned eight weeks old and nobody knew, like barely any of our friends or family even knew. We surprised pretty much everybody and you guys when we brought her home. She was just the sweetest little tiny thing and to this day, she is still the sweetest, tiniest little snuggle bug. Okay, maybe she's not tiny, but she's still a snuggle bug. So many firsts when she was still so little. Let's go over some of Memphis's firsts from when she was a puppy. This was her first time at Lake Huron, running around in the water with Shelby and Oakley. Memphis is like, whoa, is it really deep? This is her first time playing in the kiddie pool and her first Jeep ride. And of course, her first camping trip, which you all know how much we love camping with our dogs. In the camper, and Memphis is camping, officially. What do you think of camping, Memphis? This has been fun. Mm -hmm. yeah, good girl. Memphis also took a little bit of extra time to really learn how to howl, but as you can see right here, yeah. She was pretty good at practicing it while she was still pretty young. The other dogs definitely did a good job teaching her. This was her first time seeing snow. It wasn't that much snow and it was dark outside, but you know, I had to film it. It was her first time seeing snow. What's that on the ground, Memphis? What is that? Check it out. It's your very first snow! At just a little over eight months old, she pulled a sled for the very first time and you could see she loved it. We knew she was going to be really good at this as she got older and she did turn out to be the lead dog. Something she wasn't very fond of though was her first bath and uh, I just realized Eleanor hasn't even had her first bath yet. When that does happen, I will film it. Memphis was about one year old when we finally gave her her first bath. If you guys don't know, we really don't bathe our dogs that often, if you can't tell. Oh my gosh, and who can forget the first time in a hammock? This video was actually featured on a Petco commercial, so some of you may have seen it on TV. I guess that would have been her first commercial as well. So many firsts, I could literally go on forever about her first but this is a 10 year video. She's 10 years old, not just a puppy. So let's uh, keep on looking back at her life. I asked in the audience group on Facebook what some of your favorite Memphis memories were and one of you said Memphis eating corn on the cob, which I agree, this was so cute. She still does this and before any of you freak out, corn is perfectly fine for dogs to eat. Just don't give them the cob. Memphis loves corn to this day. We do this with her every time we eat corn. Do you remember the muddy Memphis? How many of you remember this? It was raining. She decided to dig a hole in the mud. She was insanely dirty. And uh, yeah, I did have to give her a bath after this one. Another great Memphis memory that some of you brought up was her seeing and reacting to her own reflection. So she used to do this a lot when she was younger. She would see it either in our TV stand or in the oven door. And even now, once in a while, she'll be caught off guard and she'll kind of, you can tell that she sees herself, but she doesn't react the same way she did here. She did this for quite a while, but again, as she's gotten older, she's kind of realized, oh, that's just me in there. When Memphis was just over two years old, we started doing agility. We really just do it for fun. Uh, I was doing it with Shelby before and Shelby was really good at it. So I wanted to get Memphis into it. Memphis, uh, I'm not picking on her, but she was not as good as Shelby was, but she really, really enjoyed it. And it's honestly something that I really miss doing with the dogs. Nobody in our area teaches it anymore, but I do own a lot of the equipment. So maybe it's time to start back up again with Kira and Eleanor. We have made so many memories in the past 10 years. So many camping trips, so many road trips. Memphis has seen Niagara Falls. She has seen the Pacific Ocean and the Atlantic Ocean and the Gulf of Mexico. She has traveled through so many states. I don't even know how many. She's been to Central Park in New York City. Honestly, I don't know how many states she's been to or how many road trips or camping trips we've been on. 
You know, I say it all the time that dogs' lives are short and make memories with your dogs, and I think we're doing a pretty good job of that, and trust me, we are not stopping anytime soon. We have some pretty good adventures planned for this year. And it's not just the adventure memories. Like, we also make memories just being at home with our dogs, from the puzzle treat challenges that we really, really like, to the toilet paper roll jump. Oh my gosh, this was so much fun. Do you remember this? Remember when everybody was hoarding toilet paper? We stacked ours up and made a fun challenge for the dogs. Making a cake when we hit one million subscribers, hitting 1 million subscribers in general, and Memphis being here was amazing. Hitting 1 million subscribers still blows my mind, but making this cake was so much fun. And who can't forget her joy with the leaf piles? Oh my gosh, this girl still to this day loves it. And we only make leaf piles once a year. She still loves it. And snow agility, that was another really amazing day. We have yet to have another snowstorm like that to build a big course like that in the yard, but that was such a fun video, such a great memory. And even with all of the amazing days, you know, we've still had ups and downs through the years as well. Most of you know, Memphis blew out her left knee last fall, and we had no idea how this was going to change not only her life, but our lives. We did have to cancel a bunch of travel because of it, but oh my gosh, she has recovered like a champion. With our amazing veterinarian, Dr. Ryan, who did her TTA surgery, and then our wonderful, amazing physical therapist, Miss Paula, who we need to get back over there and see, hopefully soon. Memphis has really bounced back from that injury. She's done laser therapy, the water treadmill. We've done a lot of exercises with her. We really wanted to make sure to do everything we could to give Memphis the best chance at recovery. And I can say, you know, we're what, seven? Seven months since she had the injury, she's doing amazing. We actually just did a two and a half mile walk this afternoon. And how can we forget, I swear this is Memphis's favorite thing, the pet expos. This has to be her favorite thing ever because she gets exactly what she lives for, snuggles from so many of you. I really do think this is what makes her happier than anything in the world. And people, she loves people. She has always loved people. That has not changed in the past 10 years. If anything, I think she loves people more now than ever. She has always been the happiest dog. Every moment is the best moment of her life ever. And that has never really changed. I think the only thing she likes more than people is probably food. She does like her snacks. So if you guys don't know, we got Memphis in 2013 and we actually got her shortly after our very first Husky Shiloh passed away. But Memphis knew Shelby and Oakley because they were here when we brought her home. And then Memphis was here when we brought home both Kira and Eleanor. So she has really known all of the Huskies that we've had except for Shiloh. She's the oldest now, which makes her the resident queen of the household. Memphis learned so much from Shelby and Oakley and she has taught the things that she has learned to Kira and Eleanor. And that makes me really happy that there's still a little bit of all the dogs that has, you know, passed down through the generations of our dogs. I literally could go on forever about Memphis moments. I want you guys to tell me in the comments what's your favorite Memphis moment, your favorite Memphis memory. When you think of Memphis, what moment pops into your head? I wanna know. I think this is gonna be a lot of fun and you guys go down in the comments and read what other people's favorite memories are. Down in the video description below, I will have a playlist of many of the videos that we actually showed today. So if you haven't seen some of these, if you've seen some of these clips and you're like, oh, I remember that video, or hey, I've never seen that video, you should go through that playlist and watch all of these old memories. You won't regret it. It'll be so much fun. So many memories, so many moments, double digits for Memphis. I'm still mind blown. Happy 10th birthday to my snuggle bug. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Stay positive, dream big, and we will see you again soon. Goodbye, Podians. Happy 10th birthday, Memphis. Apparently you're getting a birthday month this month. I'm okay with that. Pretty sure she's okay with that too.